Black Eyes said in a community post about Michigan State football, something bad has occurred. A two-year starter at quarterback has entered the transfer portal. Uh-oh. And that's Payne Thorne. He's six foot two, 210 pounds. Last year, he had 242 completions out of 387 attempts for 2,679 yards with 19 touchdowns and 11 interceptions. He, uh, he did get sacked 18 times last year and rushed 60 times for 42 yards with one touchdown. In 2021, he had 235 completions out of 389 attempts, passing for 3,240 yards and 20, with 27 touchdowns and 10 interceptions with 21 sacks as well. He did ca catch a pass for 15 yards that in 2021 and, and like in 2021 also, 82 rushing attempts for 181 yards with four touchdowns. This is not good news for Michigan State. This is kind of a big year for Mel Tucker because you know last year he disappointed. I mean, after a bad year one, he went very, he did really well in 2021, but this year, I mean, then last year, missed a bowl game. And I'm going to go over their schedule. First of all, they got Central Michigan at home. Then they got Richmond at home. But they have Washington at home. Then they got Maryland at home. Then on the road to Iowa. On the road to Rutgers. At home against Michigan. On the road to Minnesota. At home against Nebraska. At Ohio State. At Indiana. And Penn State at home. Yeah, that's not... But the non-conference, you got to admit... I mean, yeah, at least you have Washington at home, but the problem is Washington is expected to be really solid this year. They might win the Pac-12. So they should at least win, go 2-1 and one in a non-conference before the conference slid in. I would think they would beat Indiana on the road. But forget Ohio State. Forget Michigan. Forget Penn State as wins. At Minnesota, that could be a trick. That's a possible loss. Maryland at home is tough. On the road to Iowa is tough. And I know Iowa doesn't have a great offense. They have to improve that area. But if the defense could be as good as last year and improve that offense some. Yeah. And they got and I don't have no clue about Nebraska either, so kind of one of those interesting deals and on the road to Rutgers I consider Rutgers could technically a little behind Michigan State but it's on the road I mean and Maryland's a good football team I mean this year it's going to be like at least a bowl game team maybe up to 89 wins or maybe a little bit more like 10 wins maybe that if you're pushing them but still, this loss does not help you. Especially, especially when your defense was really bad last year. And now you lost your best quarterback. But I got to wait and see what happens in the offseason from here. This is certainly not great news for Michigan State and all of their fan base because they're losing Payne Thorne really hurts their chances. And Mel Tucker kind of needs to get them back on track with at least seven wins or eight wins. I'm being realistic about that because I don't see them being Michigan. And I know Michigan has lost to Michigan State when they shouldn't, but they're not going to beat Ohio State, even with the questions over there. And Penn State is really good, too. I mean, so we're we'll at the wait and see what happens the rest of the offseason from here. And I don't normally do videos on transfer portal on particular players, but this, yeah, as you know, today is the last day for the transfer portal in football. And this is a big one. We'll have to wait and see where he lands. Because Payne Thorne could very well be a starter for 
all the teams that need a quarterback really bad. Like Auburn. I mean, for example, Florida. I mean, he could go there. Anyways, if you like this content, like and subscribe. And see you guys later. Find us, guys. We're on the road to it. Let's go.